Things are definitely different nowadays. I ain't gonna lie. Ever since 2020, things are just so different now. You know, I look back on it, for one, it's crazy, it's been four years since 2020 and everything that happened that year. It was almost like the world was like ending. Things was like happening left and right that we was not used to. And truthfully, I don't think we was ready. We was definitely not ready. I don't think I was. But even during those times, I still find a way to still continue this journey. Like I never stopped working out even back then. Yeah, we lost the gyms, but funny enough, I brought the gym to me. Like I refuse to give up on this journey. But man, after these last four years, it's been nothing but crazy. It seemed like we ain't really recovered. But one thing for sure, man, it's it's time to really focus on you. You got to really start getting yourself together. Really start focusing on you because, man, even the last two years, this year alone, it just seemed like shit's been going left. And ultimately, the only motherfuckers you really have to focus on is you and your close loved ones. Because you ain't got no support out here. You ain't got nobody that's going to help you. You're pretty much alone out here in this wilderness. It seems like everybody now is so different. People treat each other differently, more so disrespectfully. A lot of hate, division. A lot of things nowadays just doesn't make sense. Everything's backwards. For example, it seemed like we can't afford nothing. Prices is at a sky high, going crazy. When it comes down to the nine to five, it's when you work in, it seemed like you're not fulfilling your own life. You a slave. I know it might sound, you know, cliche, but it's true. Because you could put years in a job for a job to just not really acknowledge you. Not even give a fuck about you. Almost at a risk of losing your job. And, you know, you're not really getting paid for what you're worth. Hell, you could even care less about the job. Life is crazy, you know, once you keep moving and experience it. And you roll with the punches and you start to learn more about yourself and your environment. But man, it seems like things nowadays are crazy. People treat each other like garbage. It seems like we prioritize other people that doesn't deserve the support over our own. So that's why you have to start to realize the only person you got in your life is you. And you really got to put that one step forward into yourself and focus on yourself, bro, and focus on your own grind. I know I have to step forward and do my thing, pave my own wave, start my own thing, because ultimately everything is stacked against me. If I go and, you know, work that nine to five, I've done it, you know what I'm saying? I work those 12 hour shifts, all that mumbo jumbo, just for what? No respect job could care less about you work a schedule that is really everything is against you when it comes down to a job your government is against you see i'm not really a political person i don't really want to bring politics into this channel you know what i'm saying that's not what I, what this is all about but really look brutally honest look at the outside it seemed like because of politics things is even more divided and then we got some clowns running this country and it's crazy to think you can't even decide which side you want to go to. Do you want to get shot in your left foot or do you want to get shot in the right foot? Because that's essentially what this is. You know, why the hell are we ending with this choices of these clowns for leaders? But then look around you, reprioritizing the wrong groups of people. Those that's naturally born here is out here getting pretty much fucked over. While people from outside that's coming in getting more of the benefits than us. And it's starting to really make more sense why the prices around here is increasing. No wonder why the rents, housing, we got issues because 
here we allowing a lot of people over the borders. Wow. A lot of stuff is going backwards. A lot of backwards shit. And it seems like we only going downhill as time progresses. But now when it comes down to people just not even want to do nothing for themselves. They just look around like the world is destroying, the world is ending. Hell, my life is miserable. I might as well just be depressed, live my own little sad sack and not do shit about it. Listen, bro. The time is now. The fucking time is fucking now, dude, to start your grind. I'm starting my grind day in and day out, bro. Hours on end to really pay my own wave and really do my thing. Because ultimately, I got to create my own shit so that way I make sure me and my loved ones is all right. You can work for 40 years, get retired just to still be broke and have no support. Just for someone outside the country that came in here get more support and benefits than you do. It's crazy as fuck. And no wonder why there's a, such a, a divide anger. Like I feel the anger in the air. Loads of frustration. See, and it's crazy because me being in Ohio, a lot of people's talking about Sandusky. Here, I'm from Lima, Ohio, and we have that same Haitian problem here. We got, I mean, I noticed it. Now, I never had no issues with the Haitians personally, but I start to see it. We start to have rampant crimes, crazy driving accidents and stuff like that around here. But it start to really make sense why even around my area, because we have over 10,000 migrants in just my own little small town city, apparently, bro. In little Lima, Ohio, not even a little over an hour away from Sandusky, and it's happening everywhere. But that's just a small example of what's going on. The world is going downhill, for real. It's not even just in this country. You even gotta look at Haiti themselves. You gotta look at everywhere going through wars legit this is world war three going on it's legit happening as we speak and i don't think anything is going to get any better so i gotta really ask you this question when the, when the fuck are you going to start when the fuck are you going to start that business that weight loss journey how are you going to figure out to love yourself and just be prepared because the future ain't guaranteed bro like it's a really like it's starting to look fucked up and you know what, during this storm, during the misery, I want to see the beauty of it. So I'm trying to live the most out of it. But you you got to start right now, bro. Like, stop waiting. Stop waiting till 2025. Like, legit, we got a few more months till the elections, and we got a few more months till 2025. It's crazy to think. You already wasted this whole entire year on bullshit instead of not doing anything. You got to sit here and focus and grind on your shit, bro. It's time. It's today. It's now. For real. Like, I'm not wasting no more time. I got tired of wasting no more time. Like, all that time I wasted messing with the wrong crowd, messing with the wrong activities. It just left me with the empty void. But me putting myself first and been grinding on this shit for, hell, the last couple months, I mean, I started seeing so much more progress. Me understanding what my skills are and how to utilize it, share it around the world. That right there is making a huge difference for me. You understanding who you are as an individual and putting it out there in the world and helping others. Making your own thing, making your own way your own side hustle, making that side hustle your own thing. Because ultimately, you have to start your own shit in order to get out this shit, bro. And it's fucking ironic, really. If you keep pushing your goals off, you will never live your goals. But for me, I got tired of the insecurities and self-doubt where the world is heading. This world is fucking backwards. But you... Be self-aware and start grinding for yourself. That's what this channel is all about. I want y'all to really be more self-aware with yourselves. We all in this shit together. At least I want y'all to be more self-aware within you. Stop being so blind. Don't feed into the negativity. And instead, stay focused on your grind. All these distractions that's going on is ultimately blocking you.
from your goals, which you need to start focusing on more. So for real, open your eyes. It's crazy out here. But ask yourself this question, how much longer are you willing to wait? Bullshitting around, you fucking around with the wrong people. Start putting yourself first and create your own wave. And you're gonna start thanking yourself later. I'm trying to tell you, I, I'm thanking myself now. I'm approaching year seven on this grind. But this time it's even more serious because I'm paying my own motherfucking wave. I'm here to save lives now. I want find I want people to find themselves, their best version of themselves. I'm getting people fit. I'm legit starting my own thing. I should have been started because here I'm sitting trying to chase for the bag, but not chasing for my dreams. So I finally became a fitness coach. I'm sitting here training people to become the best versions of themselves. And it all comes down to self-belief and start my own shit. So when you gonna start your own shit? For real. Start now. Don't wait now. Once you have the idea, start now. Take action. Take action. Take fucking action. That's the one. Take action, bruh. For real. I'm not excited what 2025 got to offer, but hey, May 2025, you're fucking bitch. For real.